Today at Cedar Creek, we celebrated our 75th anniversary and we opened literally the gates to our 5,600 acres so the public could come and learn about our research and learn about our natural areas as well as an opportunity to connect with scientists in person. For a lot of scientists, Cedar Creek is, is a household name. Cedar Creek's research is in college textbooks around the world and this is one of the most famous places in, in ecology and in science. Um, but for our local community, in many cases, all they've seen is the no trespassing signs on our borders. So one of the things that we're working toward, and today was an excellent example of it, is, is more open access. So opportunities for Minnesotans to realize that all of the advances and discoveries that are happening here at Cedar Creek are part of their heritage and part of something that they're an owner of. We do a wide variety of community engagement activities throughout the year. We have some things that are regularly occurring. So we've got a master naturalist class that we run for six weeks in the winter and spring. We have two citizen science projects where members of the community come out and collect data on a regular basis and are involved with the scientific process. But we also have one-off events where people can come and learn about a specific topic, whether it's prairie plants or astronomy or climate change. So right now we're really good at connecting with middle schools and we're pretty good at connecting with the university community, but obviously there's a whole lot more when it comes to, to the educational spectrum. So we're working on engaging with some of our local elementary school students, getting them to start learning how to observe. Then we'll have them back out here as middle school students. We're working with high school students and giving them opportunities to do research as a class or as individuals here on site, and then hopefully some of those will trickle on to the University of Minnesota and come back as researchers. These students come to us excited, a little bit scared in some cases, uh, to experience the wildness that we have here at Cedar Creek, but often leave feeling energized uh, with a broader sense of what it means to be a Minnesotan and with a deeper knowledge of the scientific concepts that they're learning about in school. Science isn't just going into a lab and collecting you know, samples in your pipette. It can be that, but it can be so much more. Science is about curiosity and wonder and asking questions and answering questions. So the goal here at Cedar Creek is to inspire a scientific mindset and inspire people to see themselves as scientists. Not necessarily to become scientists, but to understand that it's really just a way of looking at the world.